<laughs> so your name is Ray Isles, yep. and you are like what, the chief what for transit? You're like the big cheese. I am the chief engineer for transit in North America, so I cover the North American product, and I work closely here with all of our North American customers and uh, colleagues here in the team. Well, cool. Well, transit's done a big thing. I mean, the, eco, the Econo line was here forever, and then these guys kind of take over the market, even though you still have the Econo line. And I see this in RVs, Class C RVs. I see it everywhere. And you're really bumping into that uh, that Mercedes market. You guys kind of whipping on the Sprinter or what? Uh, we uh, dominate the segment. We have probably getting on for around about 40% market share with the Transit, maybe another 15% with the uh, E-Series still. So in the segment covering Transit and E-Series, we're probably in the 50 to 55% market share range. So Ford brand dominates the business. Cody Christian makes your trailer smoother ride isolates between the truck and the trailer so your trailer doesn't fill the truck the truck doesn't fill the trailer your horses have a better ride your cargo has a better ride you have a better ride in the truck Well, that's cool. As you know, that was their, their big thing was the diesels. Now you guys keep playing with diesels, and, and your new diesel is what I love. This is the two liter. It's in the Raptor in Australia and probably Thailand and a few other places, and coming to England this summer. This is so cool. This is the one that has two turbos, and it's a four cylinder. Nobody has that. But tell me all about how that works. Uh, I'm no expert on exactly how it works in the physics here, but basically this is our all-new diesel engine. As you said, it's a 2-liter I-4 diesel engine. It's a brand-new engine architecture. We first used the engine off this architecture in Europe in 2016 in a single-turbo version. This is now the bi-turbo version, which is the first application for us here in North America. But as you said, it has just been launched this year in the Ranger Raptor and the rest of the world. So this is a state-of-the-art um, new generation diesel engine, which will give us class-leading fuel economy with regard to this engine when we get it launched in the transit. Well, awesome, and this should be a big deal in the RVs. I mean, you've got so many engine choices. The new, the EcoBoost, the the, the 3.5, and that's is that dual injection and, and actual dual uh, turbos, right? Yeah, so in the RV segment, Right now the RVs are using the diesels because that's the engine that can deliver them what they need for the frontal area performance. When we get to our 20 model year Transit we will then be adding the 3.5 EcoBoost into the cutaways with the same frontal area, 72 square feet that you can achieve today on the diesels. So we expect a lot of the RV business on the Class C's would move to the 3.5 litre EcoBoost just because the customers prefer the gasoline engine. And you're right, that 3.5 litre EcoBoost engine is just behind you. It's a twin turbo engine, direct injection. We've been using that engine in the transit since we launched in uh, 2014 as a 15 model year and it's the same engine basically that we've also been using in a number of our other vehicle lines so it's a proven engine it's still unique in the class there's nobody else that's matching us with regard to a uh, 3.5 di twin turbo v6 engine gasoline producing 310 horsepower and that engine has the 10 speed automatic all of our engines in the transmission in the uh, our engines in the transit at 20 model year will all have the 10 speed automatic transmission so you'll see it on all three engines the 35 eco boost we just spoke about the 2 liter diesel right here and our base engine which is the 3.5 liter pfdi v6 oh cool it's in the it's in the raptor engine i like that the four cylinder ranger raptor the 10 speed that's awesome so three engine choices and then the other one is the base one without a turbo, the other 3.5. Correct. The 3.5 litre PFDI is without a turbo, naturally aspirated engine. Uh, it has direct injection, so that improves the fuel economy, and it also enables us to downsize the engine slightly and maintain the performance. But it also still has port fuel injection, which gives you better fuel economy at the low speed and low load conditions. Well, that's cool that you have three options. That, that gives you a lot of choices. I like that. Well, thanks. I appreciate you talking to me. I look forward to this coming out and me going out and playing with it. You're welcome. See what it does in the mountains in Colorado. See you again soon. Thank you. I'm excited to share this news with you today, but to kick it off is a, is a product that is the best selling cargo van in the world. From the moment it launched in North America, it became the number one commercial van and has been each and every year since. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the all new 2020 model year transit. Over 50% of the content in this vehicle is, has been updated this year. And for 2020, Ford Transit offers the most con vehicle configurations in its class by a long shot. The biggest story, I think, is Transit's new available intelligent all-wheel drive system available with both gasoline powertrains. Ma many customers, both commercial and or RV or recreational, 
told us they need vans that can, e that can even perform better in icy, snowy, or even muddy conditions. And for 20, the 20 model year, we are delivering it for them in an affordable, intelligent, all-wheel drive system. Let's take a look. This is our uh, winter proving ground in the Hiawatha National Forest in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We've got perfect weather conditions for demonstrating our all-wheel drive system. Uh, we've had probably about 12 inches snow this week and it's snowing now and it's going to keep right on snowing all through the night. All-wheel drive is a big deal because our customers, whether they are running school buses, taking our kids to school, whether it's ambulances or other first responder vehicle, uh, they have a job to do and they have to do it in all weathers. Front wheel drive may be great when the vehicle's empty, rear wheel drive is great when the vehicle's laden, uh, but in all wheel drive you basically have the best optimum for all conditions. It just works. If the traction is so low and the powertrain torque is so limited by traction control, the vehicle just can't get moving. You could waste the whole green light just trying to get through an intersection. Whereas the all-wheel drive will be through it and away as though there weren't any snow under the tires at all. There's two major advantages really. One is there's no compromises on the vehicle. The ride height is no higher than on the existing two-wheel drive. So if you're in and out of the vehicle a hundred times a day as a delivery driver, okay, there's no extra load on you basically getting in and out of the vehicle delivering packages. The second major advantage to our all-wheel drive system is it's just always on. It's not a manual control. You don't have to stop uh, and engage the four-wheel drive system. It's just always on, and it's always sending torque to the front wheels or the rear wheels, depending on where that's required for the best uh, performance of the vehicle, whether it's traction or whether it's right and handling or safety issues. The all-wheel drive option is not just a performance option. It's also a safety option, and it's changed what people thought they could do with a van. With all the driver assistance technology, the all-wheel drive option new 10-speed transmission, two new powertrains. The market's just going to eat this up and we can't wait to give it to them. Our Ford trucks, our commercial vehicles across the entire lineup, they just keep America running. And that basically keeps us with everything we need to make society run. An all-wheel drive is a critical part of keeping that happening even inside. This video is a perfect example of sometimes you have to go to the ends of the earth to build the best vans. And uh, we definitely did that up there. Um, the system continuously monitors and optimizes you know, the torque output and can send it up to 100% of it to the front wheels if required, as Ray said. Um, it also has flexible drive modes, um, where, where if you want mud and ruts or in slippery conditions. So what that allows is the driver can, can tailor the all-wheel drive system to, to, to maximize the performance in their specific um, environment that they're in at the time. And it gets even better. Um, as Ray said, the, the ride height's not compromised. The, uh, you know, whether it's a shuttle bus or a hotel van, you know, people getting in and out of it. In a commercial van, you know, many times package delivery, they're getting in and out of the vehicle a couple hundred times a day. And uh, that makes it easy to load and unload the cargo. This is a really big deal for those uh, uh, individual re uh, customer situations. Now, all-wheel drive alone would be a big deal, but we're also adding um, two all-new engines and, and a, the 10 speed transmission across the lineup. Um, it's a great example of Ford democratizing our technology and leveraging our experience and scale to, to provide the best alternative for our customers. Customers can choose the engine that best meets their needs. Um, our base engine is an all new 3.5 liter PFDI or port fuel direct injected engine to improve, uh, deliver improved efficiency. Uh, we have an all-new 2-liter EcoBlue bi-turbo diesel. It provides more power, higher torque, and greater efficiency than the outgoing 5-cylinder diesel. And last but not least, we've upgraded Transit's proven 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6, now offered with Auto Stop Start. All three of these engines are teamed with the 10-speed transmission. And, um, it, it, it keeps the engine RPM low for greater efficiency at highway speeds. It helps minimize wear. Um, it's proven. This is one of the stories that I like telling the best. You know, while, while it's all new in the transit right here, we've been building and manufacturing and selling this transmission, the 10-speed transmission, since 2017 in the F-150. So what manufacturer can launch an all-new van with a, with a key powertrain component that's already been built and delivered and is driving around in over a million vehicles? I don't think anyone. Now, I'm proud to say that on the Transit uh, 20 model year Transit, we also have a host of these driver assist technologies, all driven by customer input 
from our, the largest fleet customers to our dealer body around the country. We're standardizing pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, post-collision uh, braking, lane keeping system, and automatic high beam headlamps, all standard on every single transit from base all the way up to the highest spec. These features are incredibly valuable to our, our fleet owners, many of which are self-insured. Uh, and most importantly, they offer an extra level of safety for everyone. They can help avoid costly accidents, which create downtime, add costs, and increase insurance rates. We are also offering several other advanced driver assist technologies on transit. Um, adaptive cruise control, bliss with cross-traffic alert and trailer coverage, enhanced active park assist, can actually, this vehicle will automatically parallel park or perpendicular park, like many of the most expensive luxury vehicles in the world. That kind of advanced technology is exactly a perfect example of where we're democratizing it across the Ford lineup. And lastly, we offer a front and rear split view camera system availability. And when we get to the transit passenger van XLT version, we've also had several other features that we've standardized. Bliss with cross traffic alert and trailer coverage is standard. Uh, reverse sensing and a new side sensing system are all standard. So that largest 15 passenger jumbo bus uh, hauling people to the airport and the hotel has got all that technology standard. Another new feature, all new crew van. Um, five, uh, seating for five, second row bench, and most importantly, side curtain airbags all the way to that, back to that second row, industry first. Another new option, doesn't stop. We're offering a three across um, seating option uh, available on all vans, chassis cabs, and cutaways. We also, you know, listen to our RV customers, hugely important for the Ford commercial vehicles. Um, we launched Transit in 15 with more features and technology than we've ever had before, but one of the things we didn't have was a swivel seat. Uh, they were very vocal, and we've got that for 20 model year available at job one. And another new feature, some of the biggest doors in the industry, we're offering an optional power sliding door system on both the van and the wagon. Now it's not just all uh, powertrain and, and advanced technology, we've also got some design improvements, um, optional HID headlamps with LED uh, signature surround, um, and we have three, three new grills um, on the vehicle. Uh, while, they, while they have a new fresh look, they also improve the overall efficiency and cooling capability of all three powertrains. And if this wasn't enough, we've added an all new interior and more comfortable seating with an updated dashboard. These, all these features are designed to improve the overall comfort and the practicality of the vehicle, as well as increase the storage capability across the uh, lineup. And finally, we've also improved the capability on the platform, and we've taken our chassis cabin cutaway up to 11,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating, increased the uh, gross carrying weight rating up to 15,000 pounds, so many of the RV uh, customers can still tow a smaller car, and it's available with the, the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, the most powerful engine in the entire segment. Now, besides that, that chassis cab and that cutaway also have the capability to offer that all-wheel drive option, which is something no other chassis cab or cutaway offers in the industry.